Welcome back. Temperature today some 15 plus degrees above average. Uh, 68 the unofficial high at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. Decent amount of sunshine as well. But now thicker cloud covered. Eventually some showers expected to break through this evening. Already seeing some light returns on radar coming up through Potter and Tioga counties here in the northern tier. And uh, this will continue to track up towards the north and east and rain will become likely uh, for the rest of the viewing area as we progress through the evening hours. So weather going downhill here as we go through the period tonight. Notice a lot of moisture coming up from uh, the Carolinas and uh, through Virginia. There's some severe weather south uh, of this area down towards uh, Georgia and coastal South Carolina. Uh, and this moisture lifting up towards the north. So we'll get in on some of this here for tonight. Center of low pressure here spinning over the Midwest, and that's going to come through for tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon, keeping the threat for a couple showers around and perhaps a few rumbles of thunder, especially tomorrow afternoon, especially if we can break out into a peak or two of sunshine, which will be possible. Temperatures tomorrow above average once again with highs in the 60s. So that low pressure comes through for tomorrow, keeping us unsettled. Tough time of year for the spring athletes, especially uh, you know if you have to head outdoors, baseball, softball. Uh, relying on those dry conditions tough because it's going to be a wet day for tomorrow. Of course, we had all that rain late last week, so the we the fields are pretty much a mess and uh, it's going to be wet tomorrow. We will dry out a little bit, at least briefly for Wednesday. We'll have some sunshine appearing, but notice another area of low pressure tracks our way for late Wednesday into Thursday with more rain expected. So it looks like a, an unsettled end to the work week. Now over the next 48 hours, expecting between a half an inch and an inch of rainfall and that's going to drive the streams, creeks and rivers up Tioga County, New York, Bradford County, Pennsylvania under a flood watch and look at this all the way through Saturday morning. So this is going to be a prolonged event. Here's what we're expecting the Susquehanna River to do near the Waverly area. It's near nine feet right now. Flood stage is 13 feet. By the time we get to 10 o'clock Wednesday morning, it's going to be close to flood stage. I think it's going to peak just below though flood stage at 12.2 feet. But the problem is the river levels are going to be high and I mentioned that second storm system that's going to be heading our way for Thursday. So it's not going to take much to drive the river levels above flood stage. We're expecting minor flooding, especially late this week, especially along uh, the low lying areas along the Susquehanna River. So this is what our weather maps expected to look like overnight tonight. Periods of rain steady at times. It kind of breaks up a little bit during the day tomorrow, but uh, with low pressure moving through during the afternoon, enough instability around. There may be a couple rumbles of thunder. The showers will taper tomorrow night and then going into Wednesday. It looks like we dry things out. Clouds will give way to some sunny breaks during the afternoon, but that dry period will be short lived. Next batch of rain arrives Thursday for today. We forecast 65 68 the unofficial high 46 for a low tonight. So temperatures really not dropping a whole lot. It will be breezy out of the southeast. 64 tomorrow showers, perhaps a rumble of thunder. There's the seven day forecast and again more unsettled weather late week, especially Thursday. Some leftover showers Friday, maybe even a wet snowflake mixing in Friday night, early Saturday. But the, the weekend will tend to dry itself out here as we go through Sunday 57 and back into the upper 60s for early next week. So we had 68 today forecasting 68 again next Monday. All right, thanks, Joe. Okay.